Welcome to GoTAFE e-application, the new easy way to apply online for courses at GoTAFE. If you're interested in studying a short course or a full qualification, e-application allows you to submit all the required paperwork to get you started as a GoTAFE student. GoTAFE's e-application allows our students to apply for a course online 24-7 speeds up the enrolment process by generating student IDs and software access. For non-accredited courses, students can pay and enrol instantly and together working towards a paperless environment. Before you begin your e-application, you will need your USI number. That's your unique student identifier number given to you from the government that stays with you throughout your life, no matter where you study. If you don't have one yet, visit www usi.gov.au to create a USI. Obtain your USI number before completing your registration with GoTAFE. Identification. Throughout your application you will also need a green Medicare card and a current Australian driver's licence. This includes a learner's permit or full Australian birth certificate, not a birth extract or Australian passport. Now it's time to get started. Have you been a GoTAFE student before? Or never studied with GoTAFE? Carefully read through the information provided and follow directions. If you are a returning student, simply log in on the right of screen at the student login. Your login is your student ID, not your Moodle login. If you don't know your password, give us a call on 1300 GoTAFE 468233 to reset your password. If you are applying after hours, email inquiry at gotafe.vic.edu.au and we'll send you a temporary password. If you have not studied at GoTAFE before, please click on the new student register and apply to create a new profile. Register. There are five steps to the e-application. Register, select, apply, submit and complete. You can track your progress along the top bar. Each section will change colour once complete. Follow the prompts and remember to answer all mandatory questions that are highlighted with the red asterisks. If you are not sure how to answer a question, most questions have a hint text beside it. Hover over the question mark for more information. Make sure you use your own email address if you are a new student. If you share an email account with your family and it has already been used to enrol someone at GoTAFE, the system will not allow that email address to be used again. Please note, if you do not fit the eligibility criteria for citizenship, your e-application will not proceed. Please contact us if this happens. What is your reason to study at GoTAFE? Your response is valuable to us. Click on the arrow and select your reason from the drop-down options. You must tick the Terms and Conditions box for your details to register. Enter the provided security verification and click Proceed with Registration. Once you click the Proceed with Registration button, you will receive an email like this confirming your e-application account is live, including your student ID and initial password. Keep this email in a safe place and use for future enrolments at GoTAFE. You may now proceed to the next stage of the application. If this error message appears at any stage of your screen, close all open browsers, open and log back in. Selecting a course. Now it's time to select your course. From the pre-populated search, choose from one of the options on offer and click apply. Be careful when choosing your course. You need to read the blue information in each section. GoTAFE work with industry. We have set up courses for specific industry and this is noted in the blue section. If you are from specific industry, this will be clearly listed in the description. Or you can choose to apply through the course webpage by clicking on the Enroll Now or Apply Now to the top right on screen. If the course you are wishing to apply for does not appear, please click on the Inquire Now or contact 1300 GoTAFE. Applying. Now you are ready to apply for your course. We have a link to our fees and charges brochure 
and we encourage you to read this documentation. In this section, you are required to provide more background information, such as your high school education level, any previous qualifications you have, and your employment status. Also include here the contact details of your next of kin. GoTafe has a duty of care to inform your family in case of an emergency. Eligibility for concession does not guarantee a concession will be granted. It is important on your application to upload a current copy of your health care aged pensioner or veteran's gold card. You may also elect to present your card in person at the Institute once you have completed this e-application, but before your course commences. The pre-training review is a series of questions designed to assist GoTafe assess your suitability and the best learning practices for you. If you are interested in using a VET student loan, make sure you understand what is involved. This is not an application for a VET student loan. This only applies for approved diploma and advanced diploma qualifications. For further information, view the GoTAFE website and refer to the VET student loan fee schedule listing for approved courses. If you are applying for a short course, you will be required to pay the fees online in order to complete the application and guarantee your place. Once you submit your application, you will be directed to the payment gateway. If an employer or third party is paying on your behalf, you will not be directed to the payment gateway. If an employer or third party is paying on your behalf, complete the third party paying applicant fee section, as this will need to be finalised prior to the course commencement. Once you have completed the remainder of the e-application requirements, save this application. You can then log out of the e-application and a GoTafe representative will contact the third party assisting with your fees and obtain authorization. Once authorization has been received, a GoTafe representative will contact you to finalize your e-application. By providing valid certified ID, you will not be required to present original ID in person to be considered government funding. Make sure your date of birth is included on your ID documentation if you are under 20 years old. Attaching supporting documentation. If you do not wish to submit your certified documents in person, select from drop-down option No. To attach your certified documents, click on the Choose File icon and upload from your desktop. Ensure the attachment appears on screen and proceed by clicking the Upload File icon. If you wish to attach more than one document, click on text Add Another and repeat the process. Some qualifications include industry placement and require a police check and working with children's check. Click on the links provided to find out how to obtain these checks. We would also like to know how you found out about GoTafe and this course. Click on the drop down and select your answer. Often we will take photographs of our students studying and we like to celebrate our students' achievements. GoTafe will use these images, recordings or statements in our publications such as the GoTafe website, newsletters or social media. If you do not want your images, recordings or statements used, you can opt out. Your response is important to us. Click here to save and continue. Submitting your application. Ensure to tick the conditions of application and applicant declaration box. You can read the terms and conditions by clicking on the link. Submit your application by clicking Submit. Once you submit your application, you will receive the following email. Congratulations! That's the first step in becoming a GoTafe student.